Full disclosure, I'm like an entry-level pyromaniac, by the way. Nothing, nothing crazy, nothing dangerous. I'm gonna say this is my first day of low-carb eating slash juicing. Now, I really need to find a juice that has a lot less carbs and a lot less sugar. My sister-in-law suggested, I think it was Daily Green, I have to look them up, see what it is, and order some, and I'm sure it's not gonna taste super great because there's gonna be no sugar, but you know what, it doesn't matter. It's the end result that I'm gonna be happy with, not eating sugar daily. So I'm gonna go ahead and list out the foods right here at the end, just so that you can get an idea of what I'm gonna be eating on a daily basis. And it's gonna have all the carbs and sugar, all the totals that you need, and I recommend doing this if you plan on doing something like this. Take the normal foods that you have available day to day and just list everything out and then pick and choose what you want. Now by doing that, I found out I really need to cut out milk and substitute it for almond milk and a few other things. A few other things that were high on the list was the green juice. It has just a little bit too much sugar and a little bit too much carbs. I kind of expected it, but is it really worth it to be having it? I might cut that in half or just so I get a little bit of it, but not so much of it. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do most of my carbs in the morning, just so I can really get started, get my day going. And then, I mean, I don't know, I could be wrong. Anybody has any better suggestions, please let me know. So we have my starting weight. I really should figure out if I can do my BMI and stuff like that. It would be beneficial, or at the very least, just measure like my midsection and such, because that's where I'm carrying most of my weight and I want to see the most improvement because I need to fit into my clothes. My biggest thing is going to be hunger. I like to eat when I feel hungry. I eat, but then I overeat because I stuff myself. So I really need to just slow down and take a minute. Instead of eating like a whole block of cheese, just slow down and eat just a little piece. Or, you know, you know what I mean. And stay away from the stuff that I really don't need. Chips, popcorn, all that stuff that I don't need. There's, it's a delivery system. I don't need bread. What do I need bread for? I just want the meat and the cheese that's in there. Well, the bread's extra. It's filler. It's extra calories. It's extra carbs. It's all. I don't need that stuff. And as far as milk goes, I hate to give milk up, but the amount of carbs and sugar that are in it, I don't. It's not beneficial for me to when I can substitute it with almond milk and stuff like that. This is my sofa. There are many like it, but this one is mine. I mean, there's a lot of things to fix on this thing, and honestly, to me, the whole thing's garbage. Particle board, this is just garbage. I, uh, unfortunately, when you buy cheap, you get crap sometimes, but to buy something expensive, new, that has you know those interlocking wood joints and stuff, you're talking a couple grand. That's not gonna happen. I've tried different things. I've tried swapping these springs around, hopefully trying to you know, get a little more life out of them. But you know what? This sofa is tired, it's old, it's beat. Who put this sofa together? Really? You can see back there, the, the arm was just ripped right out of the frame there. I mean, honestly, is it really even worth it to go ahead and fix this thing and try to repair it? So I was, honestly, so initially, I was honestly just looking at buying some new springs just to give a little more life to this sofa, but I don't know if it's worth it. I'll look at the prices of them and see how many you get, and maybe I'll do it if it's if it's cheap enough. But for the most part, I, th this thing's kind of shot. It looks like I'm gonna have to put a little bit of a hold on this sofa project. Those springs to get to the 25 inches, two springs is like $13. And I need how many? There's a ton of them in there, so that's it. it it's gonna be a ridiculous cost. I'm almost better off when I drive by somebody throwing out a sofa, just going and taking the springs out of theirs. Uh, on the other hand, maybe I'll just at some point build a whole new frame for that sofa and actually make it better or fix that one and just use the upholstery that's on the current one onto the new frame. It's gonna be a big project. We'll see, who knows? I don't know, we'll figure it out. So if you didn't catch the last video, I kinda need some suggestions for this gender reveal party for the baby that we're having. Now a couple of people have had some interesting suggestions. I was thinking maybe just a balloon filled with helium with some sort of like glitter or something inside, whether it's blue or, or pink, and you know, you kind of light it, get a little bit of an explosion, nothing crazy like that. Somebody else suggested some tannerite, you know, you can get colored tannerite, I guess, and you know, poof, shoot at it, big explosion, safe and a lot of fun. There's been like pinatas filled with something, the cake where you cut it and you can see it. I, 
I want to go with an explosion. I think that would be cool or some sort of chemical reaction where you dump some things together and you get, a, you get something big and oh, you know, something you could do outside. So I'm looking for ideas, something that's cheap, quick reacting, uh, nice like, oh, bang, here it is. That, that's what I'm looking for because I think that would be the most fun for us and the most fun for you watching rather than cutting into a cake and here it is. No, 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 we want something big. Let's blow something up, you know? Have some fun with this. Full disclosure, I'm, I'm like entry-level pyromaniac, by the way. I want to get these few videos where we really need to talk about this stuff out of the way so that we get back to normal, fun stuff. I mean, it's not gonna be every day like this. I mean, little updates here and there about how it's going, what I'm feeling, and, and you know, how this process is, is taking a toll on me or, or whatnot, or you know, how much more energy I have, whatever the outcome's gonna be give updates on that you know what I mean 